Hey, aloha. It's Brian, obviously. And I am finally making this video. I've said for the last four years, you know, eventually I'm going to get around to making a video about that. And I finally am doing so. For probably the seventh time in seven years, which would be interesting, um, I had someone say to me, you know, Brian, I referred a possible client to you and they watched one of your videos where you said the F word and they just they just got offended and said you know they didn't want to work with you and about I don't know maybe 20 times in seven years out of working with over a hundred thousand people now I've had about 20 people in the last seven years that have said on live streams or commenting after I did an event commenting about you know using that word and I the F word specifically and I want to address this and I want to do so lovingly and I want to do so very consciously and this may be a little bit shocking uh, fuck that are, are you are you kidding me <laughs> are you kidding me now I really mean this with infinite love and respect and it's going to take something if that if you do feel I was going to say if that word offends you but that's not true you get offended by the word the word has no ability whatsoever to offend anyone now here's the thing I help people to dissolve spells spells that are holding them back in any area of life I make no claims about results I'm, I'm in a country that says that I can't claim that I help someone to heal a disease even if I did it's the truth okay so I, I just honor that insanity um, and I don't make the claim the, the only claim I make is that you are an infinite unlimited being of energy and you can change anything anything can change I just happen to be a really excellent facilitator some say the best in the world at helping people to allow themselves to make those changes now one of the areas where we've been programmed is in the area of words and we through religious programming were taught this is a good word and this is the list of bad words now if you bring any awareness to this concept it makes no sense words are arrangements of lines and squiggles on paper that have no meaning inherent in them they have no power no word can offend no word can uplift it's how you feel based on your individual programming about the word now when someone does really push this issue with me I said well let me let me tell you the only three words I know that are actually bad words okay here they are I love you because it's the intention of the words you can make I love you an insult okay but it's only an insult because the other person buys it because if you said that to me I'd go wow you're having a hard day and you look funny <laughs> okay so one of the things I think that really has confused people in the spiritual world we, we come out of our religious programming this is a bad word I mean shit let's be serious if you don't you die fuck if you don't you turn into a jerk you know um, the, these are all beautiful things they're things that we're all involved with and yet I help people to break those things now when people come out of their religion and they start to become spiritual one of the things that happens a lot of people encounter the work of Dr. Masuro Emoto and they believe that that means that words have power so maybe you've seen Masuro's work maybe you haven't but uh, Dr. Mas uh, Emoto discovered that if they would take uh, wor uh, water and then they would paste words onto the bottle that the crystals of the water when frozen would look very very different so everyone said, oh well that means that the words do have power no words have no power intention has power if I say that's fucking awesome there's no I'm sorry there is no detriment in that word there's only people who are programmed to become offended so to move towards wrapping this up my friend 
messaged me today and said, listen, I referred a friend and they saw a video where you dropped a bunch of F-bombs, you know, any way that you could tone that down. And I said, well, I, I really appreciate it. Thank you for that. And no, I'm not going to speak differently in my professional persona than, because I don't really have one, <laughs> than I do in my daily life. This is how I speak. I help people to see among other things, that there are no bad words, that all programming is programming. And I said, you know, if this person is dealing with a life-threatening disease, or if they're dealing with long-standing relationship issues, you're telling me that they would rather keep their issues than have a conversation with me because they saw me drop the fucking F-bomb probably not a good person for me to work with. They wouldn't have been fun. <laughs> okay. So I don't know if this will help you. I don't know if this will solve any curiosity for you. If, if you are one who actually believes in bad words, the odds are you wouldn't even watch this video. So I'm probably preaching to the choir, but for those of you who are watching this video, who kind of were wondering, yeah, but I'm a little, okay, I'm okay with those words, but I just do kind of wonder I'm a little bit of a confusion. Maybe this will solve it. Words have no power intention has power words have no power the intention you put behind the word has the power let's grow up let's wake up and let's speak freely and communicate from our souls no word has any more weight or any more power or any badness or any goodness over any other word Hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear your comments.